question the next topic that i am going to start is non cirrhotic portal hypertension non cirrhotic portal hypertension as the name suggests there is presence of portal hypertension but there is no cirrhosis okay so what we are seeing here portal hypertension without cirrhosis okay i have told you in the topic of portal hypertension that in portal hypertension presence of esophageal varices and splenomegaly is characteristic so portal hypertension is having esophageal varices and splenomegaly okay as there is no cirrhosis in non cirrhotic portal hypertension there is no jaundice there is no ascites there is no jaundice no ascites and no encephalopathy but there is esophageal varices there is splenomegaly and there is definitely a possibility of bleeding esophageal varices also so that is why the most common cause of death in non cirrhotic portal hypertension is bleeding esophageal varices okay whereas most common cause of death in cirrhosis is liver failure followed by bleeding esophageal varices okay now there are two main diseases in non cirrhotic portal hypertension these are ehpvo and ncps okay now this ehpvo stands for extra hepatic portal venous obstruction and this ncps stands for non cirrhotic portal fibrosis okay uh i'll discuss first the extra hepatic portal venous obstruction then the non cirrhotic portal fibrosis ehpvo stands for extra hepatic portal venous obstruction okay in extra hepatic portal venous obstruction there is involvement of the first order and the second order branches of portal vein okay so the first order and second order portal vein branches are involved most common site of obstruction okay as the name suggests extra hepatic portal venous obstruction there is portal venous obstruction but the most common site of obstruction is junction of smv and splenic vein is a junction of smv and splenic vein ehpvo is generally seen in young patients of first and second decade okay and splenomegaly is mild to moderate or you can say it is less common as compared to ncps okay and this ehpvo is the most common cause of non cirrhotic portal hypertension in children most common cause of non cirrhotic portal hypertension is ehpvo most common cause of portal hypertension in children ehpvo and uh, then in this non ncps it stands for non cirrhotic portal fibrosis okay and what is there it involves the third and fourth order portal venous branches that is mainly intrahepatic third and fourth order portal vein branches are involved okay mainly seen in second to fourth decade 
and splenomegaly is more common or severe splenomegaly. Okay, now there is portal fibrosis. Okay, as the name suggests. So here, there is portal fibrosis, which is present. Okay, bridging fibrosis is absent. Because bridging fibrosis is a feature of cirrhosis. Bridging fibrosis is a feature of cirrhosis and bridging fibrosis here is absent in NCPA. Okay. But all are the drugs or the uh, materials which can lead to NCPF. There is a mnemonic VAC. Okay. So vinyl chloride, arsenic, and copper lead to NCPF. Okay, so VAC can lead to NCPF, vinyl chloride, arsenic and copper. This is regarding NCPF and splenomegaly is more common and is massive splenomegaly here. Massive splenomegaly. Okay, this is regarding NCPF. 